Most of the time, we don't have the luxury of showing a various points of view, so we have to find the right point of view when we are submitting to journals or presentations. So here's an image that I made of a micro-reactor that studies a particular reaction. It was important to show how this micro-reactor was connected to the analytic pieces. And so here's another point of view showing the pieces connected to the background. So I, I worked a little more on this. Was there a way to show the micro-reactor with the background pieces at an angle, this was okay. I wanted to see a little more of the front of it, and so I went to try for this one. Notice something isn't quite right. I hope you are getting more and more particular with your own images. You see something up here in the corner that's a shadow. We don't want that. So by moving the camera just a little more to a different angle, we get a cleaner image wanted to play around a little bit with the microreactor, this particular one on its own, and then what I did was I duplicated it, um, put a digital background on it. I thought it would be kind of interesting. Maybe it could be used for an introduction slide. Bottom line is the researchers never used it, so <laughs> went back to the clear documentary image, which hopefully really shows what is going on here, and indeed, we did get it published as a cover and also, of course, in the figure. This is the best point of view for this particular device.